A few days ago, I was searching on AliExpress for a component which I needed for my next project. While scrolling, something catch my attention, a mini weather station. It was small, portable and beautifully designed. The features were impressive, I couldn't help but admired it. But then I saw the price and it was too expensive. But I am a Jugadi person, so that's when I got curious, I decided to search for a teardown on the YouTube and to see how it was built and guess what i found it was made using ehsp 12f and a 1.54 inch tft display that when the idea hit me i could build my own this mini weather station something affordable functional and just as beautiful and also same like this before starting assembly in the pcb let me tell you about its component that i use in this project For the brain of this beautiful project, I am using ESP12F as its microcontroller. The best part of this microcontroller, it comes with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and support multiple GPIOs. So it makes perfect choice for this project. For to display the weather data professionally and beautifully, I am using 1.54 16-bit true color TFT display. Next I am using 5V power bank module and 4.2 550 milliamps lithium and battery to power this thing up lastly i'm using this tiny button to power on or off the weather station First step was to design a custom PCB for this project. I used EasyDA to design the schematic and PCB layout for this project, ensuring the design to be small and compact. Once the design is ready, I generated this gerbo file and placed an order on PCBWay, who are the sponsor of today's video. PCB offer high quality PCBs and offer quick deliveries. When the PCB arrive, I check their quality and quality is awesome as perfect as always. If you are working on your own project, PCBV is a good choice for your next project. Now start assembling the PCB. I use stencil to apply the solder paste onto the PCB. Then I use home iron to perfectly paste solder the components onto the PCB. It not work perfectly like the solder paste not so perfectly but the components sold perfectly to the PCB. So I use a cleaner to clean the PCB. After cleaning the board, it look very nicely, perfectly and beautiful, as like it come from factory and onto its backs I also solder the ESP12F to it. Now I'll disassemble the ETF to display from its PCB and I have attached it to the PCB and after that it look very perfectly. After that I made the connection for the power bank module to our main PCB, then I put this PCB into rear case and tighten it with the screw. Now all the connections are fully completed, it's time to test it whether it will work or not. So power this thing on, it's working. Making sure that everything is working perfectly, I put everything into its main top case and it turned out really beautiful and fantastic. I have no idea to develop its firmware, here I have created a simple function that uses API to fetch weather data from the open weather map. After that, I click on upload button and the code is successfully uploaded to the weather station device. With everything assembled and the firmware is loaded, it was time to test the weather station. So let's power this thing on. As it starts, it display the cool animation. After that, it display the branding text. Then you try to connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, now it is displaying a message it's fail and here it's also displaying its own created uh, Wi-Fi name Ditecos. Uh, now we have to open our mobile and we have to click in Wi-Fi 
and here we have to search a Wi-Fi named Ditecos. We simply have to click on this and now we have to click on configure Wi-Fi and here we can select the, our uh, Wi-Fi from here make sure your device is connected to Wi-Fi or by the way you can also use personal hotspot to connect to it uh, in my case uh, my Wi-Fi router name is 4bro I'm selecting this and here I'm at entering the past of, uh, password of my Wi-Fi Here we need to put the city code of our city. Uh, to get the city code of our, uh, our city, I make a detailed description about this, which link you can find uh, in the description. Here we need to set the UTC. In my case, like Pakistan uh, is plus five, we simply have to write five. And here we need to put the brightness. Uh, we can adjust the brightness from 1 minus 100 and I am selecting 200 and here we need to put the details about the weather update interval minutes uh, we can select it between 10 or 60 minutes uh, so 10 minutes is good so we have to click on save now it's take uh, only few seconds depending on the speed of internet the name of the Wi-Fi and also display a message like connected to Wi-Fi and after that it's display the cool interface with wonderful information like weather data city code country code each and everything it also display the date maximum temperature humidity uh, real-time updates Finally guys our project is fully completed and working perfectly as expected. I thought uh, that is or not better than the previous but uh, the, I after making this and testing out this I realized that is better than the buying version. It is way cheaper than the buy version if you enjoy or you want to create this. All the files are included in the description. By the way I have shared this project on PCBWay and make card detail log on the PCBWay. So make sure to check out the link. Also subscribe my channel like the video and share it with your friends.